ladies and gentlemen, the President and Vice President of the United States, accompanied by Ash Carter, Ambassador Susan Rice, General Joseph Dunford, and General Paul Selva. Please, everybody, have a seat. Good morning. As Americans, we are blessed with the strongest military the world's ever known. Uh, I've had a chance to work with them. I have been extraordinarily impressed uh, by Joe uh, from the Situation Room, where he helped to shape our enduring commitment to Afghanistan, to my visit last year to Bagram, where I saw his leadership firsthand. Uh, I know Joe. Uh, I trust him. He's already proven his ability to give me his unvarnished military advice based on his experience on the ground. Under his steady hand, we've achieved key milestones, including the transition to Afghan responsibility for security, historic Afghan elections, and the drawdown of U.S. forces, setting the stage for our combat mission there. Uh, Joe is the very definition of Boston strong, the son of a retired Boston police officer. And so Joe is a proven leader of our joint force, including our troops in Afghanistan, who he served Christmas dinner to. He's one of our military's most highly regarded strategic thinkers. He's known and respected by our allies, by members of Congress on both sides of the aisle, and by colleagues across our government. He's also tireless. His staff has been known to carry around a voice recorder to keep up with his commands and new ideas. He just began his service as Commandant of his beloved Marine Corps. So, Joe, I appreciate your willingness to take on this new assignment. I think the only downside in my book is, as a White Sox fan, there is yet another Red Sox fan who I'm going to have to be dealing with. Uh, and I want to thank you and your wife, Ellen, for your continued service. In General Paul Selva, we have a vice chairman with 35 years of military service as both a pilot and a commander. As leader of Air Mobility Command, 